Hi, I'm Jim Smyrniotopoulos, and this is MedPix Case of the Week number 679. You can follow this link to earn CME. We would like to thank Natalia Galki and Dawn Light for contributing the case. We have nothing significant to disclose related to this presentation. Our patient is an 18-year-old girl who has a one-year history of adenophagia and dysphagia to both solids and liquids. This has gotten worse over the past year and she has a weight loss from 200 pounds down to 128 pounds. She has frequent episodes of vomiting immediately after eating up to four to five per day and she has had multiple admissions as a result of this. Physical examination was largely unrevealing. She had a barium swallow which demonstrates a dilated esophagus with minimal peristalsis and a bird beak deformity of the lower esophageal sphincter junction with the cardia of the stomach. This is seen well in the upright position in both the frontal and lateral projections. During fluoroscopy no barium was seen to cross the lower esophageal sphincter into the stomach during 15 minutes of erect observation. A follow-up nuclear medicine gastric emptying scan showed failure of gastric emptying after 201 minutes. So what is your differential diagnosis? Achalasia, esophagitis with stricture, esophageal scleroderma, esophageal carcinoma, or diffuse esophageal spasm. This patient has achalasia and also she has delayed gastric emptying confirmed by the esophagram and by surgery. So what is achalasia? It actually means a failure to relax. Achalasia was first reported in 1674 by Sir Thomas Willis. The term cardiospasm, implying spasm of the cardio of the stomach, were used in 1882 and 1888 by Muckelitz and Einhorn. Three centuries of research has led to an understanding of the myenteric nervous system. These patients have aperistalsis of the esophagus plus a failure of relaxation of the lower esophageal sphincter. This is due to a selective loss of inhibitory nitrogeric neurons. These are the cells that have nitric oxide synthase with preservation of the cholinergic innervation. Achalasia has an incidence of approximately 1 to 5 per 100,000 individuals and a prevalence of about 8 per 100,000. It typically presents in young adult patients just like ours and there is no gender predilection. Most commonly the patients have primary achalasia which is due to this dysfunction of the myenteric plexus. Some patients have achalasia secondary to Chagas disease or to a gastroesophageal cancer causing a constriction. The diagnosis can be based on barium swallow showing a dilated esophagus without peristalsis, stasis of contents in the esophagus, and the classic bird beak narrowing at the GE junction shown here. Esophageal manometry will also confirm aperistalsis and will demonstrate increased lower esophageal sphincter pressure greater than 45 millimeters of mercury. There will also be a failure of the normal physiologic relaxation of the LES during swallowing. Pathology will demonstrate a decrease in the inhibitory neurons, a T-cell inflammatory process. Some patients have an eosinophilia of the muscularis propria, and patients may both have an increase and decrease in the muscularis propria and muscularis mucosa. Again, we can see here the classic smooth narrowing concentrically applied at the junction of the lower esophageal sphincter with the cardia of the stomach and this has been called the bird beak deformity, very classic and suggestive of achalasia. The treatment of achalasia can be pharmacologic. Nitrates and sildenafil or Viagra will work in some patients because of the primary defect in nitrogenic neurons. Endoscopy can be used with mechanical bougie dilatation, pneumatic or balloon dilatation, and via endoscopy Botox may be injected to relax the lower esophageal sphincter. However, the preferred therapy in most patients is the Heller myotomy of the lower esophageal sphincter, classically associated with fundoplication to prevent the patients from having gastroesophageal reflex. Here is a totally different patient with a remarkably similar appearance of a dilated esophagus and a smooth tapered narrowing at the lower esophageal sphincter junction with the cardia of the stomach. 
So our patient was an 18-year-old girl with achalasia, and she was treated appropriately with a Heller myotomy. This has been a MedPix Case of the Week. Thank you very much for your kind attention.